Cancer is truly a, a terrible disease caused by uh, multiple abnormalities and mutations in the genes involved normally with cell growth. It's been known for uh, a number of years that um, patients' own immune systems are capable of recognizing and killing cancers. Mm -hmm. The first practical demonstration was the bone marrow transplant program at the Hutch, um, where uh, Don Thomas and the bone marrow transplant investigators uh, demonstrated that when you swap out the immune system and give patients with advanced uh, otherwise lethal cancer a new immune system, that some of those patients were cured. So it really was good evidence that the immune system could play a role. So I think it's not by random chance that so many new immunotherapies come uh, out of the Fred Hutch. I'm director of the Cancer Immunotherapy Trials Network, and the investigators are really the foremost investigators in cancer immunotherapy in, in North America. We are testing growth factors for T-cells. We're testing factors that activate T-cells. Um, we're testing cancer vaccines and a variety of, of other agents that um, theoretically should benefit cancer patients, and we're starting to show that some of those agents hit their targets and uh, patients are beginning to respond to some of these drugs. Um, I would predict that in the next decade, uh, cancer immunotherapy will be the dominant form of cancer therapy. Um, and for patients with advanced cancer, it will be the first consideration.